YouTubers, I decided to do this video to show you my removable um, custom built wooden shelves for my truck bed with a um, ARE uh, truck topper with, uh, as you can see here on the sides, the side opening doors about the truck box. And uh, the reason I did this was so that these shelves could come out and then I would have the full width of the bed still. And um, I'm doing this video just to give you guys kind of a, an idea if you have this similar setup for something you can do. As you can see here, all it is is a uh, 2x4 frame that I built, cantilevers out, piece of plywood, and a 2x4 frame on the top here that holds stuff in. And it's basically, well it is a shelf that you can access when you open up those side doors. Everything's, as you can see here, it's set a little bit below this frame of the truck cap. And that's just so stuff doesn't slide out as, as easily. So when you're driving, it doesn't hit stuff. But I also I highly recommend doing this, putting this metal on the d doors of the truck cap if you do get a truck cap. And that's just so it doesn't ding up or um, get stuck in the locking mechanism. And as you can see here is on the other side. That's a little bit more advanced going on. This basically just the width of a 2x4. This one here made a little bit wider, and then as you can see on the bottom here, I cut out pieces of plywood that would sit in between on the uh, between like where this plywood is and the side, um, just simply because the bed comes up and it's you know got a radius on it versus you know it being squared, and that's just to help kind of let it sit as good as possible um, flat on the, on the table. Or on the, you know on the bed, um, that kind of shows some of the stuff I carry in there. And as you can see, storage underneath this side of the shelf. And then if you're wondering what that board is back there, that is so. And design intent was so I can still slide a four by eight sheet of plywood in. I always keep this one in. It was a a piece of quarter inch OSB and that's just easier to slide stuff in and out but as you can see I can still put 2x4s in here and plywood sheet goods and then I still have my bin that I keep in there my uh, EDC and stuff and then on top of there is a tray that you can add to um, uh, one of those truck boxes that go in the back and you can you know the ones that go across slide across I had one of those on top of there and it actually fits perfectly on top of that lid. On this side there's not much storage underneath with the exception of the wheel well. As you can see there, I cut this plywood going across and that's where I put my backup boots. Not much storage in there. As you can see, sorry about that leg. That's what this bin is sitting on. You can see that's kind of an open bay here. And then in here, this is about the wheel well. Not much storage that goes on the, underneath there. Um, I wish I had a better plan for something that could go underneath there, but that's all I best I can think of. So right now it's just scrap metal that's in there. You could it's about big enough to put a couple of those ratcheting straps in there, some extra ones. And you can see up above here, I have a little shelf, and then I took a piece of um, uh, one by uh, four, one by four, and put it across here, and that keeps it, you know, stuff from coming out there. Not that I use this often, but <laughs> this I just had it sitting around. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have that in there. As you can see here, that's where all the power tools are going in some more shots so like I said and uh, an overview of it it's going to give you an idea for uh, building a removable shelf for your truck bed